Okay, now we're gonna take and walk you guys through the intake side. So we'll work on the manifold right now. So with the 2011 and up models, there is a sensor that is in the intake manifold that you are gonna unbolt. We supply a, a bung to put that in for the stock sensor as well as the power commander has a sen sensor that you're gonna be putting in. Some of our newer stuff has a bung on each side, so you'll do use that. But this style has one on here and then one on the intake track. We'll show you in a minute. But we do prefer to run studs on as much as possible here. So we got supplied a couple little bit longer than the header studs. You're gonna put these studs in the two bolt holes for the manifold. Snug them up just a little bit with the four millimeter Allen wrench. Doesn't have to be that tight, just good and snug. Then you're gonna wanna apply, again, silicone to the base of the manifold where it's gonna meet up to the cylinder head. That way you don't get any air leaks or boost leaks. Grab your 12 millimeter wrench and tighten those up. Okay, once you get your manifold on good and tight, you are going to be installing your throttle body. With the throttle body, you, it's going to be facing up and down. So you're going to have to possibly undo a couple of the clips on your throttle cable to get a little more play. Okay, so your manifold is now installed. Now you're gonna be running the intercooler tubes and you're gonna need to mount your intercooler. We'll start with mounting the intercooler. We have two different designs with the intercoolers that we've created. This one is the cage mount design where you're gonna mount it just right there on your cage. Another is where you mount it on your frame. So you will put on your two hose clamps that we supplied with your intercooler onto your cage. And you'll tighten them down on these two clamps as you can see here. And some customers here, they line their cage with like a, a dark electrical tape or some sort of tape if you don't want to tighten down the stainless clamp on the bare metal surface. Your call there. Okay, you can see the intake side, the intercooler, and the air filter mount are all mounted along with the wastegate installed on the turbo. This is a, a pretty simple part of the kit. Just kind of looking at it, you can easily tell how everything fits together. You got the long elbow here coming out of the intake side of the turbo, going up and mounting directly into the intercooler. This little snail piece fits into the top of the throttle body. You may have to massage these silicone elbows down to a point on the, on the aluminum tubing 
to where you can fit everything together properly, it's probably a good idea to not tighten anything super tight until you get everything in place. And then just take and make sure after you install it that you wiggle it around and make sure uh, your connections are clean. Because obviously it won't run right if, if some of this tubing is not installed properly. Especially this one off the throttle body. There's not much of a lip on that stock throttle body so you have to make sure that that's on good and tight and make sure the elbow is on it securely.